this, this takes me back to high school. Actually, it takes me back to primary school. There has never not been a time in my life where my schedule hasn't been full. To summarize, I care about everything that I do. And if you care about something a lot, you will find the time, even when you've got a million things going on. Yo, I am Rue, aka The Culture Black Kid, and I am an artist, I am a podcaster, I am, am a radio presenter at Triple J Unearthed, a violinist, I am a trumpet player, whatever you want. I'm, I'm a Swiss army knife, and we are here to talk about all things me. When I was two, my mum used to take me to these like toddler percussion type things, just to get them used to music. And then in kindergarten, I started playing violin, I picked up trumpet when I was in year three. When I was growing up, played multiple sports, soccer, cricket. When I was in high school, I was in both the orchestras, both the bands, um, very active in the school culture as well. My, my dad used to always make this like laminated like schedule of like, okay, from here to 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 here. Here's where you got time to study. Here's where you go to bed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now when my schedule just becomes open, like I'm just super uncomfortable because I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I feel like I'm not doing anything. So I, I, I don't like stopping. In year seven is when I started to get into hip hop. I went, in, uh, went to South Africa in 2010. I'm South African, that's my background. I had my, my dad's iPod, saw 50 Cent on the, the bottom, press PIMP. It was just history from there. My dad loves music. He is a big Michael Jackson, Bob Marley fan, uh, a lot of also classic rock, ACDC and Red Hot Chili Peppers and all that stuff. So he always had 101.7 on on the radio so i always learned you know all the classic hits from there the, the the billy joels and the elton johns and all that so that's where that started i started to actually take my artistry a bit more seriously 2018 i studied in north carolina an exchange program with western sydney through there is when i i, I changed from my old high school hip-hop name that's super corny into um Rue. And that's when I also developed the, the culture black kid. I'm like, okay, I th I'm starting to get this music thing a bit more. I come back to Australia. I start to finally meet a whole bunch of people. Shout out to uh, Massey. And she started to introduce me to people like Tawanda, to Yao, to um, Noel, who did Swanky Array for, for a period of time. And from there, my tree, my branches just started to expand, fast forward a little bit more. Me and one of my best friends, Aswad, who I went to high school with, he's kind of like my mentor. Uh, me and him and a couple other people wanted to start a, a podcast. So we started one called the Midnight Snack Podcast. And through there, one of the early conversations uh, AJ had with me was like, if you want this, like you can be like one of the biggest personalities. Podcast went on a couple years, then it kind of um, ended abruptly towards the top of this year. At the same time, Tommy Faith from Triple J on Earth hit me, hey, we're looking for new tops presenters. I was like, cool. I didn't think I wanted to get into radio, but then the more I did it, the more I was like, yo, I have a love for this. Now I have big goals in there that I'm, I'm not gonna get into. Yeah, through that, I started to develop my media personality, uh, which now I consider as the culture black kid. Music has always been my love. I just, I think I've realized that being a media personality and a reviewer and a tastemaker and all that stuff, is what I need to do and music is what I want to do. Community is probably one of the most important things about the scene, period, and what I want to do. There's all these different pockets of the scene. Throughout this year, I've really seen what it's like when people come together. So how I like to keep it alive, it's, it's through positivity and it's through constructive criticism. I think those are my two, two main pillars of my brand. I think there's a lot of work that we need to do as a scene. I don't think we're perfect, but doing it from a place of love is what's going to let make everyone be able to be the best that they can be as an artist, as a radio personality, as a producer, as a DJ. That's just how I, I like to approach it. I wanna, I mean, I wanna ask, like, yeah. what do you have coming out? Tell us, tell us. That's always a loaded question. Uh, I will have more reviews coming out, of course more interviews with people, you know, keep uplifting the community in that way. Hopefully I can do some more, some music video reviews. The Midnight uh, MKS podcasts hopefully is going to return as well with me and Aswad. And then what else? New music. I need to remind people that yes, uh, you, I, you know, you see me on the content, but I can also throw it down on a beat as well. You know, I got some bars. 
maybe, you know, and I'm working with some dope artists in the scene as well, as well as, you know, just keep showing up and supporting the community as best as I can. I am Brew, aka The Culture Black Kid. Thank you for having me here at Happy Mag, and you can catch me at your local gig sometime soon.